Okay, now we're going to talk about rhodiola. Rhodiola rosea. I bought this in America a year ago. It was on sale, $23, by the way. 100 caplets, so that's... Uh, what is that? It's not $2. It's like 20 cents a day or something like that, right? 25 cents a day? I guess that's not bad, 25 cents a day for 100 capsules. Anyway, 340 milligrams. Um, it's probably going to be a really good quality because GNC. GNC tends to be higher quality. Everything's expensive. Now, I took it a long time ago just for exhaustion. Um, people in China take it for mountain climbing. So they'll go to Tibet and they'll take this with them because they have to go up to higher elevations. But uh, what I find is, is that it's true. It helps with your lung. Like you don't feel exhausted. You don't feel out of breath. So hot, uh, lower oxygen environment or and or if you're doing like high intensity, like not high intensity, but aerobic exercise, if you're running or you're swimming. And then what I found was because one day I would take it during swimming and another day I wouldn't. When I wasn't taking, I was like breathing really hard. Now that kind of ties into exhaustion, but it's not direct. It's kind of an indirect effect. So what I found was is that I could swim. I didn't have the extra strength, but I didn't get tired. So let's just say that. It didn't make me stronger like, oh wow, I have more oxygen so I can pull harder. It just made it so where my fatigue level, uh, the threshold was higher, lower, higher. So I didn't get fatigued as easily. I'd get to the end and I wouldn't be huffing and puffing and I wouldn't feel tired. I would be ready for like the next lap. So I think this is good. Uh, the only, not I don't want to say bit of warning because it's not really a bad thing, but evidently rhodiola extract will adjust your appetite. So if you're not eating enough, you'll feel hu hungry stronger. And if you're eating too much, um, it will make you feel full quicker, I think. Something like that. Uh, I haven't found that as much of a factor. What I have found is that it definitely helps with breathing. So if you're interested in that, it might be worth it. Um, I would read some other things, but this video is getting a little bit long. Let me see. There you say there's mental health benefits from it, according to Very Well Mind. Uh, plant grown in Siberia. It's used in Chinese medicine. Stress, anxiety, mental fatigue, depression, and mood. That's what they say. Um, it may help with... Um, I, there's just too many things on here. Probably more like stress and social anxiety for me. But like I said before... Anyways, it, it may stimulate serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine activity. Um... It says it's an adaptogen, so as soon as you're stressed. So basically, adaptogens are better when you're stressed. If you're not stressed and you take one, you're not really going to notice the effects. Um, if you take an adaptogen like um, uh, the horse one, the Indian one. <laughs> Why do I forget these names? Um, everybody knows it. If you take those, you're not going to get the same reaction as if you're stressed. So if you go, okay, I'm gonna have a really stressful day, then you would take it, okay? Anyways, that's that's all. This video is getting pretty long. And hopefully you guys could try it. Um, by the way, for most of these, I haven't tried the, uh, I haven't checked my liver enzymes, but you might wanna do that if you're taking something like go to cola or something like that, because it can affect your liver. Anyways, talk to you next time.